welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I am your host, Matthew Horky. Hi, I'm Shereen Tan. Nice to meet you. <laughs> welcome back to the show today. Today we have a cool show today. We have uh, Santa Barbara Red Wines Value Wines. Wines, I'm going to talk about value. Under 25 US dollar retail, although I've seen all of these wines, uh, I think on Wine Searcher for under 20. Yeah, 1990, 1890. Yeah. So, you ready to get into this? Some wines yeah. that you actually really like. So, before we get started, I want to let you know that this video has not been paid for in any way, shape, or form. But if you like these videos, if they add value to your life, Check out our guide to the wines of Santa Barbara, Sipping Santa Barbara. Recommended wines and producers. It's available on Amazon, Kindle, uh, PDF, Moby, EPUB. I'll put that in the description box. Uh, we have these three wines here, all from our look of it. Yeah, all Rhone grapes. So I'm excited about that. We, we poured them, we Coravin them using our Coravin Model 2 Elite. Thank you to Coravin for sending us a sample unit to test. We poured them into these beautiful Gabriel Gold Edition glasses. You want to show? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love how this, I mean, I really <clears throat> love swirling wine in this and This glass. is very delicate. <laughs> these are actually lighter than Zolto Universals. Uh, we have a discount code for these glasses uh, for Gabriel Glass Stemware at the end of the video. I'll put it in the, in the screen. You ready to get started? Let's go. All right. <clears throat> First wine up. So we have all, these are all, these wines all have Syrah in them, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, a grape that's doing extremely well in Santa Barbara County. The first we have one of uh, the maestros with Syrah. We have mm -hmm. Beckman Vineyards, Cuvée Le Bec, 2015. This is Grenache, Syrah, Mouvedre, and Cunois. So GSM with Cunois. Uh, I've... On this website, I think it's $22, $25, US dollars, although I have seen this retail for below $20. let us take a look at this. This was aged in neutral oak. Um, this vintage has a little bit more Grenache in it. This is the wine he produces the most of. People that like big, rich, fruity wines are really going to like Beckman Vineyards like my dad. He loves yeah. <laughs> he loved that Beckman Grenache. So let's give this a go. GSMs, uh, if you're not familiar, some famous GSMs around the world. The Rhones from Southern Rhone, Chateauneuf du Pop come to mind, Priorat. Uh, some beautiful ones. Let's give this a smell. What do you think so far for a... Very varietally correct. I mean, I think I might be, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I will be able to guess it's like Grenache or GSM if I smell this. Just yeah. exactly what you would expect. I'm impressed. Uh, Beckman, you know, I have been tough on some of their wines in the past. I'm not going to lie. Mm. And the wines that we've tasted on the show so far have not been too sweet. They've been really, really nice. Mm. Ripe. Red cherry. Berry tart. Earth, white pepper, berry tart. Yeah. A little bit of chocolate. That's a little bit of toastiness to it. Like um, Let's give like, a, like a chart. A chart. Meat smell to it too. It doesn't smell like an inexpensive wine though, right? To me, no. It smells really high quality. Let's give it a go. Mm. I'm impressed. I haven't had this vintage before. What do you think? <clears throat> like roast meat and berry pie in a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. very Cote du Rhone village esque to me. Uh, spicy. The wood comes in. Uh, like I said, I'm very sensitive to wood. The wood comes on strong, not overly bearing or by any stretch of the word, but nice, meaty, fruity, white pepper. Anything else you want? I love the aroma in this. So you like this one? Yeah, I like, you like the aroma this one. a lot. I'm pretty high on this too. Uh, for me, easily 4.0. Actually, I'm going to go 4.1 out of 5 on Vivino. That's what I would probably put the score as on my, my Vivino account. I think it's delicious. Mm. Pretty good, right? It's really good. I might even take a little There's bit. There's a bit of a cherry cola finish to it, too. A lot of flavors. Yeah. <clears throat> nice start. Mm -hmm. I would drink. Nice. That would go get out good with the meatloaf we had for lunch. Quite a bit of tendons. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> Next up, we have the Stoltman. Para Maria uh, de los de col de colet. <laughs> the Colotes, <laughs> but Pata Maria, that's what it's known as, 22 U.S. dollars, 2016, 85% Syrah, 15% Petite Verdo. Mm -hmm. Very cool story, Stoltman, a producer we like and respect very much. Maria is their crew leader. Uh, 
that helps, you know, leads the crew that harvests the grapes, and they have a partnership with her, so her family gets 50%. It's a 50-50 partnership. It's cool. They also do a wine where they give 50% of the proceeds to their vineyard workers. Responsible. Good for them. 22 U.S. dollars, although I've seen it. Uh, I've seen it for under 20 at Wine Searcher, and also... 2017 Wine Enthusiast Editor's Choice Wine. Nine months in French oak. Let's give it a smell. I smell a lot of Petite Bordeaux. Whoa, that's very, it's violet for me. Do you pick up violets? Yeah, yeah. I'm the color is dark. Dark, bloody dark color. Okay. <laughs> Raspberry, blackberry, serranus to it. Bloody? Anything else? I don't get a pepper as much. Syrupy smelling. What kind of violet? I like this a lot. I like the nose. First of all, the nose is very pretty on this wine. This reminds me of the... Peppery. Ah, I can't remember what it's called. The Bissono wine. The basic Bissono wine. The Bissono, uh... Po Poggio something. Basic, yeah. I can't remember. But anyways, good wine. <clears throat> this, is good wine. this is very good wine, right? Yeah. For, for for this price point, this is a wine that's easily going to score 90 plus points. I think it did a couple 90 point scores, wine enthusiast, blah, blah, blah. Um, this is really good stuff for a cheap young wine, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Ready to drink now, but a lot of potential to age. Mm -hmm. It's got the Serranus in it. If you like a little bit of vanilla from the wood. Yeah, a little bit, not too yeah. much. A little bit of meatiness, blackberry, violets, medium finish. I mean, same thing. Uh, which one do I put? Actually, 4.0, 4.1, I think I would go on Vivino. I like this just a tad. Caramel, yeah. What, okay. You, you, what do you like? What do you prefer so far? The back Personal man? preference? Back man. You prefer, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's, let's move on here. Uh, one legendary producer, the oldest Syrah producer in America. The third, per, the third winery established in Santa Barbara after Prohibition, I believe. Zaka Mesa Sarah, a state grown and bottled 2014, 25 U.S. dollars. This Ooh. wine is consistently vintage after vintage. One of our favorite values. Yeah. You can never go wrong with this wine. Fall moment. Hold on. Oh. Wine stain. <laughs> <laughs> I am excited about this. What? <clears throat> oh, our first. Wine ever was it from Santa Barbara County was a Zaca Mesa Syrah. Yeah. Excellent. Yep. So let's give this a go. I am very excited about this. Zaca Mesa uh, producer where a lot of legendary winemakers have come from. Adam Tolmach from the Ojai Vineyard. Uh, Ob uh, Jim Clendenin from Obon Climat. I think Andrew Murray worked there. As so many legendary producers worked at Zaca Mesa at some very point nice. in time. Lots of dry ups, mm. dry times. These are two, these are more fruity. Mm -hmm. This one has is more herbal to me. Green mm -hmm. herbs. Yeah. For me, it's dry herbs. Thyme, maybe poopery. Thyme. Oh, you yeah. hit it on the head. Darker fruit. Blackberry. Yeah, black fruit. Black cherry. Not so peppery on the nose, but we'll see. It's on the mouth. Zacamesa to me, the wines are always clean, uh, clean, very polished efforts. Let's give it a go. Hmm. Yeah, it's not very spicy, but you still get a bit of black pepper notes. It's tangy. Funny, huh? This is 2014. But I'm getting a little bit of leathery notes to it already. Mm. This is four years old wine. Mm. Almost four years. Mm. So what are you thinking about this so far? You love this wine. Vintage after vintage. Yeah. This vintage what? In still love it. I like I like the all the flavor profile coming together. You get herbaceous notes, you get savory, you get fruit. It's really Love tangy. It, it has uh, so, some Syrah almost to me get like this orange citrus peel. Okay, so how would I how would I organize this? Well, these two are fruitier. Uh, would be very easy to go. I mean, I think a lot of people would like both of these wines. I could see these wines going really well with meats too, as well, right? Because they have a certain meatiness, savoriness to them. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit more herbal. Dry oaks, yeah, yeah. Anything else that you want? to... I'm very, very fond of this because because like I said earlier, all the flavor profiles are coming together. On top of that, 
I don't really get orange or rind flavors, but I think it's it's that lift. Like like you get your black fruit and your red fruit, so it's a very good balance of both. All good wines. I must say for for me, if I had to score in Vivino four point two, they're on the same range four point zero to four point two range. All all wines that are. I, I would be guessing looking at uh, if critics were scoring them somewhere 89, 91 points, some of the range. Good job for value in Santa Barbara County. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good job. Uh, Santa Barbara, for me, I love it. That's why I love it so much. It kind of has it all. You've got the value-driven wines. You've got brilliant white wines from different types of grapes. Brilliant Pinot Noir, Syrah, even yeah. Bordeaux blends, huh? Yeah, for each wine, like 2014, yeah, paying $25 for it. It's beautiful wine. So... Yeah. Guys, uh, check out these wineries. I will put their links in the description box. These three producers have a little bit more volume, so mm -hmm. their prices are low, and you can find them with national distribution, I think. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put the discount code for the Gabriel Glass Stand Art Edition and Alpha Decanter up on the screen. You get 15% off. We are not affiliates. It's just something an offer that we extend to you. Do something nice, right? Yeah. I guess. Check out our guide to the wines of uh, Santa Barbara, Sipping Santa Barbara. Recommended wines and producers. And guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to our <laughs> YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel. I will see you at the next episode. Bye.